Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of October, as usual, I have a special sales offer available focused into uh, the Libra theme season we are on, which is all about relationships and love and this special reading it's called the ring so if you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the paypal link which is also down below so gemini it feels like October can be one of those months like it feels like it's a long tiring kind of uh, time for you where you're wanting to jump ahead or you're wanting to, you know, if you could, you know, um, move through time and, you know, just just go into the next uh, experience where things are felt as being more dynamic, more interesting, more liberating. I keep getting like some of your very uh, limited, some of you this limitation could even be limitation in terms of space. So perhaps you feel like um, either internally or externally your life does not allow you to move to breed, to create, to relate the way that you would like in terms of freedom and in terms of pursuit of experiences where you would feel much more invigorated by, you know, the... Uh, it's almost like some of you Geminis need to be in this dynamic flow to nourish your soul. So you need uh, new adventures, new experiences, new themes to study, to research, to talk about, you know, new, interesting, trendy things to be, um, you know, um, stimulated by. And for some reason, it feels like some of you can't really dive into the new because you're dealing with certain experiences uh, that might require your full attention. Some of them could even be, you know, about uh, the fact that you are a caretaker, so you need to take care of your parents or your kids, or you have this huge responsibility that this just does not allow you to move in the direction that perhaps otherwise you would. And overall, you know, the Four of Swords in the soul position, so how basically um, you are internalizing and, and feeling and experiencing inside um, the experiences of the month and what the month brings up to you, Gemini, is in a very deep, reflective, passive, introspective state. Some of you might be um, diving really deep into meditation and meditative, meditative, meditative states to find that freedom, right? To find that power that outside you're like it feels like outside some of you feel powerless but finding that inside you actually have much more of a saying much more control in terms of you know training the balance right of your mind and emotions mind and heart equilibrium some of you are really into wellness like uh the well-being is uh, a topic that some of you might be really getting um deeply interested about or more interested than usual perhaps because some of you might be feeling you know uh, sick or you might have some health concern or someone close to you might have a health concern because for some of you there's a lot of bedtime rest um and bedtime at the same uh at the same time bedtime restlessness uh, here so it's like you are in need of a lot of rest uh, particularly in terms of the mind because you're very aware here of this negative frequency that keeps calling you Gemini it's almost like a constant panic and a constant terror of some sorts that is always calling to you or always trying to um, uh, come into your happy bubble right or happy uh space and experiences and mess it all up i keep getting like some of you have been really anguished with something 
and it could be that you're even suffering in silence about a particular matter that is very uh, mentally exhausting and taking a lot of your happiness away. And this Four of Swords is even confirmed here even more with the Six of Spades. So it's like feeling like, like a mute tone to the month. So communication might not be happening in the obvious, you know, um, ways. The communication is happening in a very deep internal, again, space. It's, again, one of those months where the subconscious training here... Um, the type of thoughts, the type of words, the type of, again, subliminal um, messages and, and sounds uh, are, all are kind of very powerful right now to help you cope with a big challenge or a big problem or just a big uh, issue that some of you have for some time, even if it's not a new one. I keep getting like you really need this time out. Even though it might be upsetting, even though it might be like, I wish I could just be in another state or in another, again, state of experience. Because this type of energy can be really felt as we are, uh, you know, missing on life, missing on the good things in life. Because, because, because we keep bumping into some sort of um, difficulties and... Some of you are withdrawing from social life. Um, some of you could be because you are aware of gossip, betrayal, again, um, uh, behaviors that are also kind of interfering in your in your mental states. And so you need some time out to, again, reflect upon it. It's a time of reflection, deep reflection, more than anything. And if you need... If you have the need to be silent, be silent. This is one of those uh, times where words are extremely powerful and we must be aware that um, sometimes not saying anything is better. Silence is gold in many, many times, particularly when we are dealing with situations um, that are beneath, again, are like of a, a lower, um, are coming from a lower space. Again, hatred, jealousy, lies, deception, you know, the, the, the false um, influence. I keep getting like some of you have been with this very fake participants in your social life. So perhaps fake friends or, you know, receiving uh fake attention or attention that di didn't really was as meaningful or thoughtful as you thought the attention was so basically it's a feeling like for some of you you're taking a step back during um october and the feeling here is like you f you might be feeling like you're relapsing, like this rewind effect, like going back to an energy, to a moment, to something um, that perhaps some of you have already been experiencing and battling and being very like feeling like wronged. Again, this feeling of injustice, why I keep dealing with the same again uh, issues, like not wanting to go back. This is for some of you not wanting to go back to revisit certain problems that are still there, right? There have been lingering there, but perhaps you have had a break. I feel like some of you have been, in, you know, in this very tumultuous energy, but at the same time, in the last perhaps September, August, previous months, even though you have been in this tumultuous energy, you have been applying a lot of energy in your work, concentrated in finances, concentrated in self-improvement. But perhaps the improvement or where you have been applying a lot of your focus have been more in the material realm. And this is like, not, not Gemini, no. Y you need to apply the same work and the same effort to deal with whatever this issue is. Because it's like some of you have been suppressing 
uh, whatever type of psychological concerns you have, and they are extremely important because your work and your finances are going to be a reflection and, and, and an extension of um, of the effort, right? And the work you put on your mindset, particularly in times where you are aware that um, you have a lot of thoughts and you have a lot of fears and you have a lot of anxieties that pull you into, you know, pull you into a black hole of some sorts in the mind that is stressful and it distracts you and it keeps bothering you. So yes, you can have moments where you have this temporary break where you can actually have something like good results and fruition uh, coming. But it's almost like, what about you? Some of you have also been very invested in getting you know um someone else's problems uh fixed or you know helping out your 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 friends your partner your uh again your kids your your parents whoever you are um working you know uh with or for as well in terms of improvement you have been there for a lot of people gemini but at the cost of you i keep getting like there has been a cost and if you don't know that there has been a cost, you're about to understand what that cost is about. Because again, another deep, very deep reflective mode here. The hermit in your subconscious position. So uh, things you are unaware uh, that might happen in a month. Things that you might, uh, again, that might uh, drive you in the subconscious to meet the experiences you're meeting during October, the hermit, deep contemplation, seeking answers, right? Seeking enlightenment. This is the Virgo energy. This is a Virgo element. So for Geminis that have um, Virgo on your chart or Geminis um, that are dealing with Virgo energy, or Geminis that in Virgo season have particularly experienced something, um, you know, deep uh, and important when it comes to self-awareness. This work is continuing. So it's again, you might want to just jump into a month where you're going to have that break. You're going to have that freedom. You're going to have that happiness. You're going to have something that is very different from this grayish uh vibe because there feels a feeling of nostalgia loneliness grief um you know it's like almost like the energy of um every day it's it's cloudy and gray and where is the sun right i keep getting like again the, the feeling of the constant same energy in terms of weather in terms of uh what you're dealing with every day more of the same Breed, Gemini, because I keep getting as well, like some of you are making it worse than it needs to be because of that anxiety, because of that high anxiety level. It's like, yes, there are indeed factors here that some of you are dealing with complicated situations. This is not something, yes, some of you are really dealing with complicated matters, but still the panicking and the negative constant focused energy will just uh make it harder than already is so be again mindful of your own mind train yourself to really um once you know fears and anxieties start start popping up to make sure that you are um not buying into it completely and this goes this this is a training that you know takes time as well because many times we can be so swept and overwhelmed and feel like we have no control over how we think right and how we make that a belief and how we make that a reality this is a slow process of learning right from crisis which is another aspect of the hermit and the Virgo, the Virgo energy. From crisis comes healing, right? In order to heal, we have to have the crisis to be aware of what's the problem, right? Where does the problem lie? Was it what is it really, um, you know, making us sick? 
being um, a spiritual ailment, a physical condition, a mental um, block, or an emotional uh, trauma, wounding, being whatever it is. It's it's from uh, it's from pain and from uh, crisis and from not having it easy that we are called upon. It's like the energy is in us that it's sick, it, it, it steers to the maximum and then we become aware of something that needs attention where if that didn't happen, we wouldn't go there. And you would be continuing to live this life that is almost like co-pilot, you know, doing the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Perhaps work, uh, some of you Geminis are in this workaholic or have been in this workaholic mode or you have just throwing yourselves into something to forget something else and it does not work that way because you're frag you, the, the process of fragmentation here is just um, becoming worse, right? So naturally you will be pulled back into a state where you understand that there's something wrong with you and when i say something wrong with you is that is, is the understanding again of something you need to heal something you need to uh, do some work on, on do some uh reflection on to the very least understand what's real what's not right and why you feel so and i keep getting like some of you is really fear some of you it's fear of life in general and not being able to cope uh Perhaps with such, uh, you know, uh, contrasts and, and, and I keep realizing some of you are overwhelmed by the complexity of life itself, right? And all that entails. Others of you is a fear of being lonely because you have been perhaps lonely for some time, Gemini. Some of you have been hurt, emotionally hurt. You have uh, went through a separation or an experience of... Uh, loss that impacted you, impacted the way basically you are available um, to relate it's not like you cannot relate but again I keep getting like the feeling that I was picking on is like a feeling of uh, the surface relationship level because when the deep intimate energy comes in and the calling for the intimacy happens this comes up some of you this is being activated exactly because of love because perhaps there's someone in your life that wants to be um you know in a state of intimacy in a state of union with you and you have your issues and you have your problems getting there and i feel like for some of you if you have someone that if you already, if this this energy of the King of Cups and the Two of Hearts is already in your life, and you know who this is, it could be a water sign uh, influence, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone that just has a lot of um, watery energy in them, someone that is caring, loving, secretive, mysterious, but very, very, very deeply connected with you. It's a soul union here, and again, soul union deep uh, it's like a deep commitment that it's being asked um from you gemini and even if this person has not yet come it's about to and it will be asking you that and so it's almost like um uh, october can be like this big clearing right this big cleansing of what is keeping you from being emotionally healed and available and available i'm sorry so that in the next months this comes in and it will be strong it's almost like uh, this feeling of uh struck by you know a love experience that is the ultimate it's almost like the ultimate proof that you know love is real and even after such heartbreak and pain and sorrow you can still find a beautiful uh person partner friend where it's about the deep the deep thing the deep love so whatever barriers you ha you have a uh, gemini when it comes to intimacy as well and union 
are being it's like almost like a spotlight in everything that it's again per se wrong with you and this is uh an experience on its own that it's very troubling because the reaction tends to be the nine of swords or the eight of swords where we feel like we only see the worst and the worst of the worst and we have a hard time again moving from the crisis energy into the healing ones into taking the medicine right into taking care of matters so time to think to heal to rest to meditate to pray essential it might feel like it's a waste of time but for those of you that are connecting with my message it is not this is going to be essential fundamental to the quality of the next months particularly because as we move then into more the later part of the year as we move into sagittarius season Sagittarius energy is all about the other half. It's all about love, partnerships for you, Gemini. So there's really this feeling of something important with the matters of the heart will be coming in in the later part of the year, perhaps. Or if this person and this partner in this situation already is in your life, it's almost like do not be afraid to take some time away from this person to take some time to reflect take some time to uh, be with yourself or take a break because this is very much needed uh, for both of you actually to understand what you have here going on and if this is not coming from you if this is coming from this person if this is about someone you already know and you, in you are in love with but there's a lot of issues getting together uh, and if this person goes silent for um, the next weeks, it's not going to last. So the silent treatment, the withdrawal and all of that might be happening and it might be panicking you, it might be stressing you out. But this person will return in, in an even more revived state. It could be that both of you are in need of a, such a big amount of healing that the only way you can reunite and be together is by giving each other the time that each other needs so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon